Hey everyone, Jordan Smith of Voight Smith Innovation doing a little bit different video for you today. We're going to show you how our sister company, Smith Lawn and Landscape, uses a combination of Microsoft Excel and LMN to quickly and consistently bid uh, hydro seed jobs and to calculate out materials needed for those jobs. So first thing we're going to do is go in LMN. We're going to make a new estimate. I'm going to search for myself here. Changes to a satin hydro seed job. I'm going to create the estimate. So now I've already you know pre-done the work of building a template, which if you're familiar with LMN, you, you can do yourself. Or if you're not familiar, uh, they have lots of good videos on their page that'll show you how to create templates. But I'm going to add a work area called prep and hydro seed. I'm going to put it under that a division of our company for a QuickBooks sync. And I'm going to go to add items and templates. I'm going to go to templates. I'm going to add the one called hydro seeding. Now this has populated all of our typical elements of a hydro seed job, ensuring that we cover all grounds and all bases when we're um, estimating a job. So now where we do things a little different is we don't typically use these um, rate matrix calculators. It's not that they don't work. They do. They do work well. Uh, it's just that Using Excel, you can um, generate all of your work areas and materials with basically one or two clicks instead of seven or eight different ones. You can see, like we have this uh, sod and hydro seed production rates. You know, I could put this information in and kick out man hours, but then I would still have to calculate, you know, my drive time, my load and unload time, my crew truck, my skid loader, all of that stuff would be a separate calculator. Whereas I built this basic Excel algorithm spreadsheet where I can type in my square footage and it kicks out all of this data. So now if you're not familiar, one cool thing with LMN um, is you can measure up your site if it's on satellite imagery. Um, if it's not, then you'll have to you know measure by hand or find more updated or current maps. But if I go back to the customer info tab and go to measure site, I'm just gonna go to my house here and allow me to measure my approximate square footage. I'm just going to outline all of the obvious areas here and then you can see I'm leaving the house in the driveway in which you know I could subtract out but on a bigger site like this um, if I'm not 100% positive about you know some of these edges and you know like around this pond it buys me some extra square footage um, but every site's unique. You're, you're going to want to do your due diligence on that. You don't want to, you know, if, if you're hydro seeding around a 10,000 or 20,000 square foot building, you don't probably want to leave that square footage in there uh, because it, it's too much excess. But in this case, I'm going to leave it. So let's just round this up to 70,000. We'll use that as our square footage. Go back to our estimate. And then that 70,000 square feet is where I'm going to kick it into my Excel sheet here. So if I put in 70,000 square feet, you're going to see that all of these things are going to change based on that. So now my estimated skid loader prep time is 12.6 hours. Again, algorithms are only um, so accurate. You have to check the site and see the conditions, how much prep does it actually need. But for us, this would be like, site looks pretty good, just needs some Harley raking, some light touch up. Um, miles from your water source is kind of a big deal because... You know, if you have to drive five miles to fill up your, your tank with water and you're doing 14 loads, that's a big difference. Um, in this particular case, there's a pond on site, but for the sake of the numbers, I'm just going to put it at one mile. The speed of my water source is important because obviously a garden hose is going to be much slower than a hydrant, like a municipal hydrant. In this case, there is a pond on site, so that's what I'm using as my um, multiplier. And that's going to basically add 30%, 1.3 going to add 30% to my um, spray and mixing time just because that's time that I have labor standing around waiting for their tank to fill. Um, this number of loads is simply taking the square footage divided by the number of square feet that my hydro seeder can do per load. I have a 500 gallon hydro seeder so it can do 5,000 square feet per load thus it's 14 loads. Um, this man hours uh, for spray and mixing time and this travel and fill time these are kind of unique things that you're going to have to build based on your company and your metrics. Um, 
these are kind of some of the numbers I use. And, and actually, if, if any of you are ever interested in this um, or curious about this, you can always contact us and we can supply you with the spreadsheet just with the understanding that every company is unique and different. You're going to have different numbers, different metrics, but it's a good starting point. Um, another thing is hand prep, obviously on a, on a home like that, you know, you're going to have a, a couple feet around the house or along edging around trees that really can't effectively be done by the skid loader. So we use a, you know, half of the skid loader hours as a factor for hand prep. Um, and then this kicks out your total man hours, which in our case does not include drive time and load and unload time. And we always factor those separate because those are kind of a big factor that some people miss when bidding hydro seed and landscape jobs that kind of make or break your margin, depending on how far it is from your home base. Um, so you'll see this kicks out that number. And then I do have this risk factor thing. Um, if we have a smaller job, that's let's say less than 15 hours, there's a lot of risk of underbidding that job and potentially losing all of your margin on it. So anytime we get smaller jobs, in this case, under 15 hours, we had a 25% risk factor, which is simply this number times 1.25. Um, this is the part that's very consistent. You should be able to accomplish this uh, with whatever material materials you're using. So this is saying, you know, I'm going to use 630 ounces of uh, RGS NXT, which we really like. I'm going to use 70 bags of 50 pound Lesco seed starter mulch. I'm going to use 70 pounds, uh, or sorry, 70 scoops of VSI One Two Punch, which is a blend of uh, tackifier and fertilizer. But then I also make a note here, if it's you know a premium job or if you have some slope, you're gonna to wanna to use extra tack and extra fertilizer to get that germination boosted and to protect the soil before the vegetation does germinate. Uh, Pro Seeder is the type of grass you'd be used. It's a pretty typical 80-20 um, blend of uh, Kentucky blue and rye. And then we do like to typically add a little bit of cover crop with our blends just to get that green and to get that soil holding. Um, so we use annual rye, other parts of the country you might use something different. So this kicks out all these numbers and then I can quickly just go into my um, LMN estimate over here and put these numbers in. So my crew labor is going to be this 59.78, so I'll go 60 hours on my crew labor. My drive time, you know, I'm going to say this is a mile from my shop, so let's just pretend there's, you know, two guys in the truck, let's just say it's 30 sorry, 30 minutes, 0.5 hours of drive time. Load on load, that would include cleaning up your hydro seeder when you're done. Um, usually we go one man hour per day on the job. So if this is a one day job, we'll put one hour there. We can have our crew truck tied up for one day. Our skid loader is gonna have 12.6 hours, so we'll round it up to 13 hours. Um, this is our equipment moving. So uh, sometimes we subcontract or use our another sister company to move our equipment around with a hook lift truck. So this would just cover those hauling hours. So let's say to and from the site is one and a half hours. Uh, the hydro seeder operating costs is something that it's going to depend on what size you have, but you're going to cover your fuel, oil changes, depreciation, maintenance. Um, one nice thing with VSI hydro seeders is there's very few moving parts. So besides your engine, there's really not a whole lot of uh, parts to have to replace or worry about. But let's just say we're going to use this thing for um, the spray and mixing time, which is 28 hours. And that's just going to make sure you cover all of those costs. We're going to do our 630 ounces of oops, RGS. We're going to do our 70 bags of mulch. We're going to do our 70 scoops of one, two punch, or let's say, you know, it's maybe not a, Job that needs double, but you need a little more, maybe we go to 100. Obviously they're 250 a scoop, so it's not a huge factor in this size job. We're gonna go 420 pounds of seed. And then we're gonna do 70 pounds of cover crop. And now that's gonna kick in all of your data here and kick out your total numbers. Um, from there we can you know, with LMN, we can adjust our profit. So let's say there's a, a commercial job and you have to give a one-year warranty on seating, whereas typically on residential jobs, you wouldn't typically offer a warranty on seating. Uh, you may want to put in a, a risk factor for that by overriding your profit. You know, let's say 
I need 25% profit. It's going to adjust all of my numbers based on my costs uh, for that. And then you can always go into your analysis here and kind of get an idea of, you know, what's the price you're sending the customer? What are your cost of goods sold, labor and materials? Uh, price minus cost of goods sold is your gross profit. Uh, overhead is going to be based on whatever overhead percentage you put in your budget. So in this case, it's around 20%. This is going to show your break even number. So by the time you cover labor, materials, uh, and overhead cost, this is how much you need to break even on the job. And then that leaves you with a net profit of $2,762. Uh, and then you can also reference that versus your budget. So like at our company, our budgeted revenue per hour is $157. This job's coming in a little high, mostly because I adjusted this profit. I'm guessing if I adjust it back, it'll be almost dead on. Let's adjust it back, save it, go to our analysis. Yeah, it's within $3. And not every job is gonna work that way, but we have found that hydro seating with prep work typically comes in pretty close to our budget. Um, so that's pretty nice. It's reassuring to know that not only have we nailed down, you know, if nothing else, we've nailed down our materials really well. We've covered our costs. We've covered our, covered our load and unload time, our drive time, our skid loader hours, our crew truck. We've covered all those things. And, um, you know, it shows what, what above and beyond that our profit would be. But it's just, Kind of a checks and balances when you check this analysis to know not only am i sure that all my costs are in here and and, and accurate um, but we're also covering our overhead and we're also covering our profit margin and we can see that that's pretty close to our goal for the year which means we're keeping ourselves on track for our goals and for our overall budget uh, there's lots of different factors here uh, there could be you know other things that you could add or take away they could definitely argue that charging 780 for a day of a 500 gallon hydro seeder is high. Um, but for me, you know, I, I like to cover my costs. I like to make sure we're covering fuel. I like to make sure we're covering maintenance. I like to make sure we're covering depreciation when we're running this equipment. So uh, to me, even if this number is cut in half in the grand scheme of $10,000 job, it's 3% difference. If you think that's make or break, then, you know, you can consider that. But for us, this is a reassuring way that we're bidding consistently. It allows us to bid very quickly and it, it makes sure that no matter which of our salespeople is bidding, that our hydro seed crew is going to have consistent and accurate data, if nothing else, on the materials used because that's pretty, pretty much purely square footage based. If you have any questions or if you uh, would like to talk more about bidding hydro seed jobs, feel free to check out our website, www.bsinnovation.com or give us a call 507-252-3033.